peace to everybody. Uh, this one's about MySpace had apologized af after losing 12 years worth of music. And that's pretty much a long time. Social networking company MySpace has apologized for apparently losing 12 years worth of music uploaded to its site following a server migration error, a loss potentially amounting to 50 million songs. And that's a whole lot of songs you've been missing, 50 millions. And yes, they have apologized for it. The Los Angeles-based company, which was once a leading music-sharing platform, announced that content uploaded to its site from its in inception in 2003 up until 2015 may no longer be accessible. Mm -hmm. So all that music that they had uploaded in that and losing 12 years' worth, it can be no longer could be accessible after all that um, music sharing on their platform. As a result of a server migration project, any photos, videos, and audio files you uploaded more than three years ago may no longer be available on or from MySpace. The company said in a statement on its website, we apologize for the inconvenience. So any photos you have, videos, uh, audio files or whatever, if it's been up there for more than three years, it can no longer be available because I guess they deleted it or something. I don't know. But they they just doing a lot of things that are not accessible no more. MySpace was the most popular social media between 2005 and 2008 before Facebook overtook it. Also, MySpace has been pretty popular between the years of 2005 and 2008 before Facebook took over. I didn't even realize it was that long And after that. As for me, I don't even think I have it anymore. If I do, I probably don't remember my passcode to get into it. As usual, the site is credited with helping launch the careers of numerous international artists, including Kate Nash, Arctic, Arctic Monkeys, and Calvin Harris, who were discovered on the platform. So, yeah, they have discovered careers, numerous instrumental um, artists, including Kate Nash, Ar Arctic Monkeys, and Calvin Harris, who were discovered on the platform so they're they was trying to help them get their music careers going and that it has nevertheless been in decline for years failing to compete with other leading social media and music sharing platforms including facebook and youtube despite multiple redesigns of the site so it doesn't matter how many times they redesigned their site they just could not keep up with facebook and youtube at all in 2009 the platform employed approximately 1600 people it now has a staff of 150 according to the company website so it had employed over 1600 people then it just dropped all the way down to 150 for the website and that is a lot to be dropping from Andy Bio a tech expert and former chief technology officer of crowdfunding platform Kickstarter warned that the music of up to 14 million artists may have been lost the exact number of tracks lost has yet to be confirmed so there's mm -hmm. they're looking for the um the tracks that were lost and when they do they'll be confirmed but right now nothing is confirmed of what happened to all that music myspace accidentally lost all the music uploaded from its first 12 years in a server migration losing over 50 million songs from 14 million artists Val wrote on Twitter so that's a whole lot of music you I mean you got to go searching for this go searching for that 
and losing over 50 million songs and that is a whole lot and as you can see here in the tweet from Andy what are you saying right here and um yeah it's just a lot of music that's been lost CNN has contacted MySpace's data protection officer for comment. Well, CNN had no right to really do that because, you know, people don't want to really talk to CNN, especially their fake news anyways. So, Stephen Bartell, the former lead vocalist of British rock and band Lost Alone, expressed sadness at the data loss and said the platform played a pivotal role in the establishment of his group so it's it's just so sad that all this um pivot role for the establishment of his group people are just not getting to what they were supposed to have this makes me really sad so much of the state of start of my band came from the exposure and community MySpace, or MSpace, I'm sorry, had. He wrote on Twitter, I still think it was the best platform for artists, bands, just music, and people who love the music commenting on it. Yeah, so it was, a, it was pretty popular back then, and he did write it on Twitter about who loved the music and commenting on it. Rupert Murdoch News Corporation bought MySpace in 2005 for $580 million in 2011. It was sold to digital ad company Specific Media for just $35 million. So yeah, that's a pretty chunk of, pretty good chunk of change right there that they had bought the, um, or they sold it to an, a digital ad company for $35 million after they bought it for $580 million. So, yeah, it's a lot of money for what they have done. And hopefully they can recover all this music that's been lost for 12 years. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I am out.